So we have a new update based on Android 16. This is Android 16 QPR2 Beta 3 and might be the last update before that feature drop which you will see in December for the Google Pixel devices. Many users, especially if you are on my channel from a long time and looking forward to many custom rooms, we did not even have the QPR1 based custom rooms out there. But Pixel devices got the QPR2 and even the stable version which might be the feature drop in December very very soon. With this new update, we have some changes, some features available. For example, if you're able to notice, live activities have a minor change. Now you can see this live activity is already there from some time now in Android 16. Now we have the status bar pill shaped option available there. As you can see at the top left, we have a pill available for that live activities indicator. This is not a big change, but it is available. So just wanted to let you know. One thing you will notice in the home screen, Whenever you try to hold any icon on the home screen, you will see some shortcuts there. You can easily drag and drop them on the home screen already, but now we have the plus icon available for easily accessible things. Things look so good in this case. As you can see, we can easily drag and drop these options directly on the home screen. But in case you want to use that plus icon, if you don't want to drag and drop, things might get more easier now for you. One more thing is if you move on to app drawer, you will notice that whenever you hold any app icon, you have the plus icons available here also, including that the option to add to home screen. This is actually a very, very useful feature. And as far as I know, it was not there uh, from a very long time. The plus icon especially is a very useful thing. It's also available here. If you move on to other things, if you move on to sound and vibration, vibration and haptics, now we have this slider available. The slider is already there from some time. Now you can adjust the slider intensity or basically we have the slider levels available. One, two, three, four. So basically you can adjust like for example, 25%, 50%, 75% and so on. So definitely looks good. Including that if you move on to other options kind of same, do not have any changes in adaptive vibration at all. If you move on to lock screen options, you will see lock screen widgets. It was already there from some time now, but these lock screen widgets have a new UI. In this case, as you can see now, we have beta text written there. A preview UI is also there. It was not introduced in the previous beta versions. And also it does not have any option for these kind of lock screen widgets, which simply tells you some more information. We have the option for while using screen saver or while charging only those options, those customization options are no more available. Those are missing from here. If you want to enable any kind of widgets on lock screen, you can do that. We already have a new UI like featured and browse and so on. So definitely click on add, add the widgets on the lock screen and done. If you want to use this thing, you have to open the display settings, lock screen options, and then you have to enable this widgets on lock screen option directly from here. Everything else is just quite similar. But one more thing, if you move on to accessibility, color and motion options, you'll see this reduce blur effects. So for example, if you don't want to use that blur effect on the quick settings panel or the pixel app drawer or anywhere, wherever we have blur available, you can enable this option to reduce those blur effects. As far as I know, this kind of option was already there in the developer options, but many users don't want to enable that for any reason. So now this is available directly straight away. These are some noticeable changes which you get in Android 16's latest QPR2 Beta 3, but everything else is just similar. If you're able to notice, we have lock screen clocks missing. So if you're a Pixel device user using this update, we have a bug available. We do not have custom lock screen clocks, but the default one is working fine. So I guess it's good. We already have some icon styles available in case you don't know. We have some custom icon styles, uh, custom icon shapes available on the home screen. And that only works on the home screen, by the way. A bit disappointing, but at least it was not here from a very long time. So if we are getting it, it's actually not bad. If you move on to display and brightness options, in case you do not have this option yet, you will see enhanced HDR brightness, actually a very underrated feature. So if you want to enable or disable this thing, it's available in the display settings. So go and explore this thing. Everything else is just similar. If you want to check this out, if you want to check this update, for example, the new recent panel UI I'm looking forward to, the new wallpapers and style UI I'm looking forward to. I'm talking about some QPR one based custom rooms. Also sure, maybe soon, just hoping. 
For now, this is about today's short and simple video. If you like this video, make sure to drop a like. And if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe the channel for many custom room and also stock updates. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.